everyone, the holiday collections continue. Today is the Shantikai. This is the Precious Metals collection, or metal collection, I should say. And Shantikai was kind enough to send this collection to me. And I have to say, I absolutely love the shapes, like the, the outside packaging. I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm usually like a silver girl or a platinum girl, but um, <laughs> this looks really, it does, it looks really pretty. Um, if this was something you were giving as a gift, the presentation would be stunning. So in this collection is the Radiant Glow Blur Powder, a vegan all over face powder that adds a velvety soft focus glow to the skin. I'll show you each piece. Uh, Precious Gold Illuminating Powder, a silky gel powder crafted with an iridescent pigments for a luminous glow. Radiant Eye Shimmer, a luxurious shimmer eyeshadow that washes the eye with twinkling dimension. Multifaceted pearl pigments uh, lend a mesmerizing sparkle and polished effect. Lip Crystal and Brilliant Gloss. The Lip Crystal and the Brilliant Gloss, I think, are repromotes. Well, I know the Lip Crystal is because I have it. It's in Rose Quartz. I'll show you the one I have, and then I'll show you the new one. And then the Brilliant Gloss is in Blythe, a sheer golden pink, which I thought I had, but I can't find it. <laughs> so, and there's another thing I thought I had that I don't have. So either, so either somebody took it, which is entirely possible. I gave it to someone, which... I don't remember doing, but anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the only thing I have on my face today is the Chantecai Aura um, Future Skin Foundation. One of my favorite foundations of all time. I've talked about it a million times. It's a great foundation, guys, especially if you have sensitive skin and you don't want like super full coverage. This is beautiful. It's a light coverage. It's gel, so it's very soothing. If you have irritated skin, rosacea, any of those things, this is a, a fantastic foundation. Future Skin, I have an Aura, which is the lightest shade, honestly. I cannot say about that uh, enough about that foundation. It is not full coverage. That's the only thing I'd say. I don't wear full coverage, but if you want full coverage, it's not. All right, so let's start. So we have the Radiant Blur Powder, and then we have the Illuminating Powder. So what I did, I pulled out the powders that I have that I think are like the same type powder. So I have the perf the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder, which I think is gonna be close to this Radiant Glow Blur Powder. And then I have the Eclat Dew Face Powder, which I think is gonna be like the Precious Gold Illuminating, Illuminating Powder. Um, not totally positive though. All right, so this is what this looks like. This is the, the Eclat Dew, which I, I think they got rid of. Um, that's what the powder looks like. Get out of my face, camera. There we go. And then this was the, the cover that it had, which I thought was really pretty. It was like little gold flex. And I did like this packaging. I thought they, they did a good job with that. The new packaging, the precious metal, wait till you see this packaging. Talk about over the top. And you can feel it. Like it's, it's, it's raised on the packaging. That's the radiant glow. So it's literally like gold foil, gold leaf. It is really beautiful in person, I have to say. It's really well done. The packaging is really well done. I, at least I like it. I really like it. All right, so this is the blur, glow blur. So we'll try that out. And then we'll try the illuminating, make sure I got the right name, illuminating Precious Gold Illuminating Powder, and this is the, so the, the gold leaf on each one is different. It's not exactly the same. The shapes are different. Can you see that? So each package, I'm going to assume it's for each, um, Product. I'm not. I'm gonna assume that there's not one for every single one that was made. I'm gonna assume it's for each product. They're different because the eye one is different as well. So I'll show you that in just a second. All right. So again, here is the glow blur. Here is the illuminating. The illuminating has more of this yellow. The glow blur has more of this like pinkish. I am not gonna swatch them because I don't think that's gonna do anything here. But I am gonna put them on my face so you can see. They gave me, where is it? Gave me a brush. It came in this really cool gold bag to go along with the, with the gold uh, precious metal theme. 
And the brush is a mini buff and blur brush. Oversized flat top diameter with high tech soft synthetic vegan bristles. Buffs powder seamlessly onto the skin for an all over blurring effect and flawless finish. Uh, let me pull my hair back in a um, headband. All right, we've got the uh, gold motif going here. Let's use the blur, glow blur powder on the side. And let's look at it next to, let me look at it next to the perfect blur. Yeah, they definitely look different. I'll swatch these two next to one another. But yeah, they definitely look different. I mean, I don't know how much you'll be able to see, frankly, but you know. Uh, all right, we're gonna stamp it kind of on, and then I will Do we notice a difference? I notice a slight difference. Okay, let's try the illuminating. Yeah, this is the illuminating and I'll show you it next to the Eclat Du. New one. I'll swatch those next to each other too. Wiped off the brush. Okay, there we go. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that definitely has, this one has um, like a highlighting property to it. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely um, highlighting. Let me, let me uh, blur it out a little bit, buff it out a little bit. Okay, that one definitely has highlighting properties. And in fact, let's use it as a subtle highlighter right there you can see so you can see the difference this is definitely like a subtle glow like a radiant well it's a radiant glow powder it's a glow but it blurs where this one definitely highlights like this is a this has shimmer to it let me take the highlighting powder put it over here so we have like more of an even face oh that's really pretty Now I'm somebody who has dry skin, so I like, I like this. I like the illuminating nature of this. Uh, that might not be for everybody, but I, I like the illumination of it. I think it looks nice on the face. All right, so I'm gonna put this next to the, yeah, it's definitely, I'm gonna put this next to the Eclat Dew, very different. Oh, so different. Even the formula feels different. The Eclat Dew feels very smooth and almost creamy. This feels very powdery. Here is the new one. See how illuminating, almost gold. Here's the Eclat Dew. Totally different product. Interesting. Okay. And by the way, this is what the boxes look like. <laughs> Which I, I gotta get it. Like it's just it, it's just packaging, but it does look cool. All right, so let's do the glur pow uh, glow blur powder. Okay, so the glow blur powder looks more like the Eclat Do, but it's powdery, more powdery, and it's pink. And then the finishing powder that I don't use that often because it's a little dry for me, and it's actually a little more orange. That's interesting. Okay, so here's the new one. I know it's hard to see on my skin, okay? So here's the new one. That's the um, Radiant Glow Blur. That one there is the uh, Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. And you see how it has a peach tone to it? This one's like pinker and a little more luminescent because this is a, a Radiant and this one's perfect, per perfecting. That's the difference. And here's the Eclat Do. And here's the new Precious Gold Illuminating. I know it's hard to see on my hand, but. So these are all very different from what I had before. So these don't, these don't, these aren't replicates of everything I have from Shantikai, which is nice. I'm not saying there aren't other products out there that could be. I'm saying I don't have them. So for me, that's good. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna take this powder 
this finishing powder. And I'm gonna use a different brush. Um, this is a uh, Shikohoto brush. And I'm gonna kinda use it a little bit more. Yeah, that's actually very nice. I like that. Okay. Okay, um, now, the Radiant Eye Shimmer. So this is what the Radiant Eye Shimmer looks like. And like I said, see the, the gold leaf? The, the patterns are not exactly the same. They're a little different per packaging. Um, so this is described as a shimmer eyeshadow that washes out a twinkling dimension with pearl pigments. And I've been told that this is, okay, so this is gold leaf, an opulent gold with pink pearl. Supposedly, this is like Soleil. And if you don't know what Soleil is, Soleil came in the Positano collection. This one is Mare, which is the, the greenish shade that came in here. And there was a Soleil, which was like a golden, a golden brownish shade. I also can't find that. <laughs> don't know where that went. And that was like one of my favorite shades. And I can't find it. So along with the Blythe, which seems to be missing, this seems to be missing, the Soleil. So I can't compare it. I wanted to compare it for you guys, but I can't because I don't have it. So I'm going to swatch it for you. If you have Soleil, go ahead and, you know, see if it's similar. Mm, no, I mean, first of all, the stripes wipe away the minute you uh, touch this. It's similar. This is pinker. Soleil was browner. That is really pretty, though. Yeah, Soleil was browner. This just has a, this has a um, pink pearlescent. Soleil did not have. I need to find that shade somewhere. I don't know where it is, and I don't know who took it. Um, I've looked for it, like, on secondary sites, like eBay and stuff. It does not exist. I would be willing to pay quite some money for that and cannot find it. All right, let's put it on the eye. Oh, that's beautiful. It's, I'm going to tell you right now, guys, this is pricey for um, one shade. There's no doubt about it. But, wow, that's Really nice. <laughs> That's a beautiful shade. It's, this is very much a one, obviously, one and done kind of thing, but this is beautiful. Yeah, it's a pinkish, has a pink pearlescence with a gold. This is the kind of thing that you'll wear or I'll wear by itself just like this, or as a topper, it's, it's more of an opaque topper though, like it's not gonna just be, you know, um, by itself, but yeah, that's, that's really nice. Wow, what a pretty shade. Okay. Yeah, I really like that. Like I said, it's not, it's not Soleil, but it is, it is a beautiful, whoops, it is a beautiful shade. Oh, Olive Brocade might be pretty. Olive Brocade is one of my favorite shades. It's, it's Olive, but it's got like a gold undertone in it, which I just think actually works really well with this. It's gonna look really nice with um, some Chantecaille mascara. The next one, the, the Rose Quartz Lip Crystal. So this is what it looks like, brand new. I think you can see the crystal bullet. It's beautiful. I own this one. Um, this is it here, I hope so, yes, Rose Quartz. So let me put that on. It's super metallic and shiny. Definitely has rose quartz. Like it's it's a shiny, metallic, no, no question about it. Um, Blythe, I'm gonna put on my hand so you can see. I'll also put it over my lips, but I'll show you the other shades that I have. I don't know how well this is gonna show up, but Blythe is a sheer like golden pink. It's really light. I could swear I had this and maybe I did and <laughs> I used it up, no. But um, let me show you the other shades that I have because like I said, I thought I did because I love this formula actually. The Chantecaille formula, the gloss is really pretty. All right, this is Charm. Like I said, I'm putting them on the back of my hand so you can see them. They're, some of them are light. So I'll do my best. So this is Blythe. You see how light it is. It's like a really pretty goldy peach. Then this is um, Charm. Then this is Love. Then this is Enchant. So Blythe is the lightest. 
most golden peachy one. I put the Blythe on, just so you can see it on top of this. Let me put on a little bit of, um, let me put on a little bit of Chantecaille mascara and then we will wrap up the collection. Okay, all the products are on, a little bit of mascara, Chantecaille of course. I don't have any bronzer on, any blush, just the products that uh, you saw me put on my face. I really like this collection. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I, have to be honest, I was not necessarily predisposed to like it because um, I, I, you know, the last couple collections from Chantecaille have been a little disappointing. Um, so I will say this, the packaging on here I really like. I think it's beautiful actually. It's, it's stunning to look at. It's like you can just kind of get lost in the gold leaf. Like it, it's, it looks like actual gold leaf. Like it's raised, you can feel it. And the gold packaging is mirrored. So it's, it's, it's distracting. And I, so I like it. Um, yeah, it's shiny. <laughs> As my husband would say, when I, when I find something I like, my husband will always be like, it's shiny. Cause I, I immediately, like if I'm on vacation or something, that's like something shiny catches my eye. It's all over. Anyway. Um, so this collection is that like, it's shiny. I mean, I know it sounds funny, but that's exactly what it is. Like, it's just, I actually think this is beautiful. It's really well done. Um, and the powders are not powders that I have. So the Radiant Glow Blur Powder is different than the perfect, Perfecting Blur Powder, which is the one I have. The Precious Gold Illuminating Powder is different than the Eclat Duke, which is the one I have. There may be other powders that, Ch that Chateka had made that I don't have, um, but these I didn't have, and I really like them on my skin. The illuminating powder, as you saw on the swatches, it's it's like an it's almost like, in fact, it's very similar to the new Tom Ford high, pink highlighter, but you know, in the illumination of it, it has that kind of feel to it, but it's gold, but it's like almost a platinum gold, and it just illuminated my skin. And I will say the thing about the Chantecai, which I always loved about Chantecai is their powders were always stunning, always finely milled, and they always looked great on the skin. I've always liked the Chantecaille powders. So even when like the packaging didn't thrill me or whatever, the powders, I was always like, oh, these are nice. The illuminating powder is really, really nice on skin. Now, again, I have dry skin, so an illuminating powder is something that I enjoy because I like to look a little dewy. I like to look um, like I have a little bit of, I don't want to say oil, because it's not oil, but you know what I mean? Like illumination, like my skin's not dying. Um, the Radiant Glow Blur. Um, this is, as you saw in the, in the swatch, it has like a pink cast to it instead of the um, Perfecting Blur, which is one I have, which had a peach. Now, this is not as brightening as the, the lavender powders I have or in my opinion, it's not as magical as the Dolce & Gabbana, to be honest. But I do like this because it has like a soft, it kind of gives like a little bit of a soft focus to the skin, which I actually think looks really good all over. I like it more as an all over powder than an under eye powder. For an under eye powder, I like something that's a little bit more brightening like the lavender or the Dolce & Gabbana or the Westman Atelier, the pink one, which is really, really good. But as an all over blurring, it does look very nice. You have to say, like you have to admit, my skin looks really good. All I have on is the Chantecaille gel foundation. I have nothing else on. I don't have a primer on. I don't have, yeah, it, it makes me look, makes me look younger. I like it. <laughs> Anything that makes me look younger is good. The eyeshadow is simple in nature in the sense that it's one shade. I'll make sure the prices are down below. These are, this is a pricey, this is a pricey, Chantecai is always pricey. The packaging I think is worth it, but you know, that's a, that's very subjective. This is one shadow. It's like the um, single shadows, the um, luminescent eyeshadows, but I will say the shade is really pretty. It's just, it's, it's a gold pinky pearl shade. <laughs> it's a really nice shade. Uh, has a lot of luminescence to it, lot, like quite a bit. It goes really well with the rose quartz lip, 
um, which is the um, lip crystal, which already existed, like I said, and then the Brilliant Gloss in Blythe, which I thought I had, which I don't seem to have, but now I do, um, is a beautiful shade. Like it's just a, it's a very clear golden pink, kind of like the, the eyeshadow, so it's, it's really nice. Um, and, the, and the brush worked really well. It's a nice buffing brush. I'm definitely gonna use this yeah, it's really nice. It's very soft. Definitely like this too. So I actually, this is definitely my favorite um, Shantikai collection to come out in a long time. Um, recent ones, I've been, they've been okay, um, but I like this one a lot, a lot more than the, the recent ones that have come out. Again, there are repromotes in here, two repromotes, and the powders, I don't know how similar they are. I don't know how similar the Radiant Eye Shimmer is to Soleil, although I remember Soleil being browner than this. I don't remember it being this pink, but maybe it was and I'm just misremembering. It's, I mean, I guess it's possible. Uh, so they're not new in the sense that they're not totally new things. You know, they've had blur powders and illuminating powders before, but I really like the way they look on me and I didn't have them, so. For me, it's a win. But yeah, I think it looks stunning. I think this is a stunning look, actually. Very natural and very simple, but also elegant and um, shiny. Almost youthful. Yeah, I just, uh, I like it. So I'd love to hear if you're picking it up, uh, what your thoughts are on the collection. I know, you know, usually when I hear from folks on, on Chantikai, it's the, it's the price point, I, and I get that. Uh, definitely more of expensive collection. Thank you, Shantikai, so much for for sending this to me. I will I will absolutely use it um, all the time because I, I really like all of these. And I will say that I have seen these as be as part of sales that have already started. So I think we're going to see these uh, as part of you know the holiday sales. So if it's just something that you really like, but you don't, you know, the price point's a little too high, wait for the sales that are coming. Uh, I also wanna say, I got this really cool gold bag to go with it. Like I have to say, like the presentation with the gold bag and all the gold, it's very gold, like it's gold. And, and I, at least I appreciate that actually. If I'm gonna pay more for a luxury brand, I want the packaging to be spot on. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to know if you're picking up the collection, if you picked up the collection already, um, you know, what you think of the color story. Like I said, not usually a gold girl, but this one looks, <laughs> this one looks really pretty. It's going to look really nice sitting on a display. But anyway, uh, thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.